today's video. Welcome to the last stage of Hot Chili's Cape Brulee. This is a nice easy one. There's no race sections. 100Ks into Cape Town. We're also going to be visiting Vela Kaya, which is an amazing organization that helps educate kids through cycling, get some riding, and we'll check it out later. It is really, really good. It appears to be raining quite heavily, so I'll do my best, but some of this video is going to be GoPro footage. Are you excited? That'll be alcohol. Love it? cycling. What, Holmesy? Yes. No. Well happy. No, look at that. We've got British weather. It could be worse, but this is sunny. so shit. <laughs> yeah, we'll get that. Get some earpiece. I got Phil Collins. That'll make everything better, mate. Uh, yeah, Great. Yeah, yeah. Nice I'm, short 100 k I'm saying oh, 98. Home. I looked. It's 90, that's 2k less. 2k I'm less. That's Perfect. Good. It's nice. We're going to Velakaya like we did last year. is really, is really good. It's just to be ashamed if it's raining. Normally it's sunshine, and today it's going to be wet. So, uh, which, is why the, which is why the group's a lot smaller than normal. And everyone's oh, I've got to go. I've got to go to this, and I've got to go. To this. I love cycling. <laughs> I love riding in the rain. I really do. The special feeling of wet chamois. <laughs> 11. We're a bit depleted on numbers, I'll admit. 28. 28 in the group. Now 15, it's raining and an Uber is 30 pounds. So Can't get an Uber. Just a bit of rain. I'm in South Africa. Sit at the back and get covered in spray and grit. And it's going to be great. So we'll see you at Velikaya. Right, get ready to roll. Down. Not sure if that's going to happen this time around. It's wet weather means it can only be about 50 meters in front of us. Scenery would be incredible down the coast. While it's a bit of a curve, it's also a bit of a blessing because the Western Cape has been suffering such a bad drought for the last few years. The locals are very happy to see the rain. And in all honesty, it's not that bad. Still warm, good fun, and off cycling. So here we are at Valakaya. Some of you guys might recognize this from last year. Great Cycling Academy and Sipo manages it. Let's go and catch up with him and see what he's been up to for the last year. Yeah, well, weather was a bit better last year. Give me the fist. Good to see you. Boom, man. Same here, buddy. <laughs> How are things? How are things with Velakaya? Things are good, man. A lot of developments as well. Um, it's a bit cold here today. But you know, as they say in African proverb, um, when it rains, it's blessings. You know, so that's blessings for us. Making our way, obviously, to waterfront. But we are here in Kairisha now, so yeah. Last time I was here was about a year ago. Yeah. Things changed? Things have changed. If you remember back last year, we didn't have a tutor. So what we've done now is have a full-time tutor we've employed. She now helps out with the kids in terms of everything else. So we've got a budget for her, sorting her out. So she's here also in the computer lab as we speak. We also now have the uh, Infinite Family Program, which is a mentorship program where kids actually get to get mentored by people from around the world. It's right on the left. You probably will see it now. And then another new development which will actually come in the next couple of months, it will finish in May, we'll have our kitchen where we'll then be providing kids uh, with food on, an, on a daily basis. Amazing, it's growing yeah. so fast. Growing so fast my man and that's what we're trying to do. Obviously we're still looking for sponsors, but the reason why I'm stressed or lost weight. <laughs> You've lost <laughs> we, a lot yeah, of weight. I've lost a lot You're of weight, 18, mean 18, mean. 18 kilograms to be exact, but um, it's part of that, that's my job man, that's my passion and that's what I love as well. Nice one, dude. Well, it's yeah. so good to see you. And you're going to join us for the last. I will. Night. Unfortunately, I will, and I'm not looking forward to it. But hey, what are you talking about? Somebody's got to do it. You know, this is, this is British summertime. No, I mean I hate this weather. I'm not going to lie. I hate it. But we'll do it. Um, see you out on the road. Okay. Let's do it. Peace, man. Boom. Really legendary. It's just a kind of slightly uphill road in Cape Town. But it's also the last time on the Cape Town Cycle Tour, which is what we're doing on Sunday. And by the time you reach this point, you are smashed. And you're usually getting heat stroke by this point as well. Not happening today. Coast road all the way back into Cape Town. Now we really are at the last bit. Big camera's back out. It stopped raining, but now it's really windy. But it's a tailwind. 
is a good thing. 10 k's to go. So tired, wildfires, put them out, flames get higher. I'm so over, cold shoulders. Yes. 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 I'm going to ride the Argus so slow. It's not good for the stage. It's have to smash it. Yeah. Why? Got make up for last year. So oh. everybody's got that velo car jersey piece. I'm gonna loosen your crank. Last year we rode the Cape Town Cycle Tour, 30 kilometers in, Tony's crank fell off. So I pushed him from 30 kilometers to the end. How long is the race? 100 k's. Uh, 110. It's 110 k's in total. It was hard. We did three and a half hours though, didn't we? We want to get a sub three this time, so no cranks, no falling off cranks. Sub three, we can be back in the bar by half nine. Just leave the plate. Oh, yeah. Just put it on the table. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're a legend. You can never be underestimated, no matter where you are in your life and what you've accomplished or achieved or what your challenges are. And to be able to pass that gift on to someone else, we, we do it at Quebec all the time. But I think the joy of actually being able to be competitive and to test yourself and get the most out of your potential is a huge thing. Um, and after seeing the look on this young man's face at the top of Franchuk Pass yesterday, I struck a chord with Oli and I at quite a, a deep level. And I think I've, I've been riding a bike since, how old are you now, 14? I think uh, Oli and I come from the same school of thought that we want to be able to share that joy and we appreciate that potentially we have something great in the making here. So, uh, Oli. Oli, over to you. Yeah. What have you decided? Amy has very kindly said that she doesn't mind not riding her bike anymore. <laughs> From James and I, here's a bike to get you going. Hey! Hey! That's for him to keep now, huh? Yeah. Wow. What's yours? With, the, hey! with the dirt and all. <laughs> Did you want to say a few words? You're going to have to get used to this now. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I just want to say thanks to, um, to him and to this guy. Yeah. I just want to thank everyone for the, the bike, yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's a long speech. It's the one time I'm going to be taller than someone. <laughs> Can you please stay behind and push me up the hills? <laughs> Pirate ship. Now I've got a ride to the hotel from here. I really don't want to do. I'd much rather just sit there and drink beers. You can't drink and cycle. Is it faster than your old one? Yeah. Yeah? And it's too light. It's too light. Yeah. <laughs> he can climb well now. I think he could climb well before. Uh, I'm gonna be in trouble with this one. Now. Oh yeah? You're gonna have to get you're gonna have to upgrade your bike. <laughs> because it's gonna always stay in front. So now I think now I'll say to him Mekinko. I'll catch him later. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. You did amazing. You did the whole Cape Rula and you're how old? 14 years old. 14 years old. So here we are back in Cape Town. We have to stop for traffic lights and stuff now we're not on the hot chili event. Now just cruising back to the hotel, get some much needed recovery in. I feel like I need to sleep for about three days, just in time for the cycle tour. I'm allowed to sleep for three days because you've got to go out and eat and drink more beer. I don't think you can eat beer. You don't eat beer? That's what Dad just said, he eat said eat and, and drink, drink more beer. Why are you in swimming trunks? We're in South Africa. I've been sunbathing. Have you seen my sultan? Great flat, but check out Jesus. I don't know what he's doing with the woman who's doing from behind. <laughs> Naked women, mirrors, everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, everywhere. It's naked people with the door handles. Wait till you see the main bedroom. Yeah. Wait, they're bending. Yeah. I'm hoping they're okay. It's just glass. It's just glass. Oh my gosh, oh. It's just glass. It's so cool. <laughs> Our old pigeon. Dropped off my stuff at the hotel, got showered up and everything. Come straight to Tony because he said he's got to his Airbnb and we've got to see it. Three floors. Well, at least we've not lost it. It's fine. It's fine. There's the damage to the plant. It's fine. It's fine, mate. It's oh, good. good. 